Don't be afraid to express yourself. Don't be afraid to tell people how you feel. Don't be afraid to tell people what you want. If your boss says, hey, which job do you want? Do you want job A, job B, or job C? You tell them what job you want because if you don't tell them, they're not gonna know and they might assign you to something that you don't like. You gotta tell people what you want in life. You gotta express yourself because people can't read your mind. To my fault, I'm telling you guys, I can be a passionate person, right? Be it for good or for bad, but people know what I'm talking about is not BS. That's how I really feel. Sharing sort of the desires and hopes and dreams that you have, people will get used to you pursuing said hopes and dreams. They'll be like, you know what? He keeps talking about it. She keeps talking about it. That must be what they really want. I'm not gonna stand in their way. And if you're passionate and clear with people about what you want, if there's an opportunity that matches the things that you want, they're more likely to tell you. This also applies to relationships too. If you wanna go on a date with someone, just ask. And I can tell you guys, sometimes they're gonna say no. I would ask her to go on a date, they sometimes they say no. Ask her on a date, sometimes they say yes. But I'm never gonna know what the answer is gonna be unless I ask. So that's sort of why I'm telling you guys, if you want something, express your feelings. If you want someone, tell them. For example, you guys may not know, uh, once a week I go onto the radio, I have a program that I do regularly. And um, in fact, if people say, you know, how did you get this? I asked them. <laughs> we, we sent them a mail, we said, hey, um, you know, we're in town would you like to have me on the show etc um it was like about a month or two later that we actually heard back and i say we because my wife uh showed me the website showed me the email and we went ahead and sent them and contacted them and it worked out so a big part of life is making a lot of cold calls and saying hey do you have a job can you give me a job um don't expect everyone to say yes in fact you're probably going to get way more no's than yeses but that is part of life and that is how the world works and when you get a no there are different ways to respond one, you can run home and cry in your bed and feel sorry for yourself. And frankly, we all do that. I'd be perfectly frank, we all do that. However, after you do that, after you're finished crying and feeling sorry for yourself, then you gotta say, okay, am I gonna keep trying or am I gonna give up? And I'm telling you, keep trying. And there's different ways to think about this. So one is you could be like, okay, uh, I'm gonna keep trying. I'm just gonna contact all these other places until I get a yes. Yes, that is one strategy. But before you get to just calling around to everyone and you know, keep trying and trying and trying, I want you to be thinking about, okay, with that first no that you got, what was the reason they told you no? Was it there just aren't any openings, there's no opportunities, right? That could be totally fine. It has nothing to do with you. Or did you not have the resume or the value needed to get a yes? That is a very uh, important question you need to ask yourself and you need to be honest with yourself. And I want to tell you the truth about this. Uh, if you really want to ensure your opportunities for success, you need to offer value, meaning that when you contact a company, when you contact an organization, when you contact a school, whatever sort of thing that you're trying to do, do you have value to provide them? Is there a reason that they would want to hire you? Is there a reason that they'd want to work with you? You know, yes, you may have passion and yes, you might be a nice person and yes, you might be uh, pleasant to be around, but at the end of the day, you have to offer them some sort of value. So take a look at the organizations that you're interested in and look at the candidates that they've hired in the past and ask yourself, do you have the same skills, the same education, and the same things to offer that they have? Because you know, if, if you do, then yes, by all means, apply. Uh, if you don't, then you think, okay, I don't have the same qualifications that other people at the you know, organization I wanna work at have. How can I get said qualifications? Let me give you an example. So let's say uh, you wanna work at a computer company and literally the job description says, you know, you need to know HTML very, very well, HTML5 say, for example. So what does that mean? Are you gonna cry about it? No, you're gonna go and learn HTML5. And this is for any number of jobs or any organizations is if you don't meet the qualifications, go get them. And this is also a true story. When they first hired me at the radio station, they didn't trust me as much. I had to essentially write uh, very long scripts, lots of talking points on there because they, they were worried about, you know, feeling dead time. But if you guys know anything about me, I just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. Um, but the point is sort of the story I want to share with this is like after you get your foot in the door, you know, don't uh, take your foot off the gas, right? They may not trust you right away because that comes over time, right? When you first hire someone, they're not sure. Did they make a mistake or not? Um, and essentially you need to prove that, no, you didn't make a mistake. Uh, you hired the right person and, and you're gonna do a good job for them. Discussions start out with telling people what you want. 
Um, in fact, this is going back to the even beginning is my wife wanted me to come here and work at the radio station. Um, she's like, yo, you should like try to go on the radio station. I'm like, why? <laughs> she's like, um, because it could be really, really good. And uh, at, at the time I was like, okay, fine, I'll do it. And um, this is a true story, guys. I really like it. It's really fun. Um, I have a lot of uh, good colleagues and friends here and I think it's absolutely fantastic and um, also too this is just how it is my wife's sister also works in radio so we're kind of like the radio family now it's really funny none of this happens unless my wife says hey this is what I want and then this doesn't happen again if I contact the radio station and say hey this is what I want don't be afraid to express your feelings don't be afraid to tell people this is what you want because essentially what you're trying to do is basically chase after your dreams let everyone around you know this is what I want to do and for those around you who are supportive and caring of you they're going to be trying to do that and I'm just telling you guys like in this industry and in the world it's it's tough out there and the, the best thing you can have in, in this world is people who are on your team people who are in your corner and people are are there for you to, to help you get to where you want to go and so hopefully you understand why I do this and I'm there for you uh, every day on this channel to sort of talk this stuff with you Don't forget about yourself. Sometimes you need to remind yourself too why you do things the way that you do. It's because you're you know, going after a certain kind of goal. Whatever goal you're going after, you need to remind yourself because this is just how it is. You gotta do things you don't like sometimes, but tell yourself, this is why I'm doing it. This is what I want. This is gonna help me get there. And this will help you make it through those tough times. So I want you to keep going after your dreams. This is what you want, right? Tell everyone, tell yourself, keep going after it. Also, forget that life is a journey right it takes a long time to get the things that you really really want it's a it's a process and you know the stuff that you're planning uh, to do today uh, may not come to fruition for you know months it may not come to fruition for years but if you keep reminding yourself okay this is the goal that I'm going for this is why I work so hard this is what I'm trying to achieve it keeps you motivated because one of the things that is so important is that you are your own best cheerleader. That's why I mentioned the guys uh, with the affirmations every day, you know? You get up and you remind yourself, okay, I'm getting up hard to go work because I want to take care of my family. I'm getting up uh, to go hard to go to work because I'm, I want to get that job promotion. I'm getting up because I want to go hard to work because I want to start my own business. You've got to remind yourself these things because sometimes, you know, when, when you're kind of down in the weeds and you just feel like nothing's happening and you feel like you're working your best, but you know, nothing's going anywhere. You got to remind yourself like, this is why you're going after what you're what you do and part of sort of telling other people is like they remind you uh, as well uh, telling other people this is sort of what you're going for they kind of hold you accountable they'll be like hey you know did you stay uh, did you study the and, and do the things that you're gonna do or hey did you contact those people you said you're gonna contact how did that go right they sort of keep you honest in your in your intentions so this is sort of why uh, the benefit of why you remind yourself of what you're doing and also to tell the people this is what I want so keep going after your dreams and moreover figure out realistic ways for you to achieve them because dreams are not impossible if you take the steps necessary that are going to get you to where you want to go those are a regular part of life and uh, one thing they always say it only takes one yes so think of it that way hopefully this is helpful for you and i'll catch you guys in the next video